The Giants clinched the NFC East last week because the Cowboys lost to the Steelers, but both these teams still a ton on the line on Sunday night. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwood, CBS Sports' Charlie Casserly. Glad to be with you on the NFL previews presented by Comcast. Get to the Giants in a sec because they played probably their worst game of the season last week against the Eagles, but you look at the Cowboys, Charlie, a devastating loss last week to Pittsburgh, giving up 17 points in the fourth quarter, the interception return for a touchdown to end the game. When you look at Dallas right now, and you look at their remaining schedule, are they a playoff team? I tell you what, they're a playoff talented and playoff caliber team, but they're not playing like a playoff team, and the schedule is tough here. Obviously, we got the Giants, which we're going to talk about. Baltimore at home with that great defense. On the road to Philly, who's gotten hot uh, since Donovan McNabb uh, came back from his benching. That's an awfully tough schedule. Charlie, Tony Romo last week, the three interceptions. When you look at him and you look at what he's doing right now, Something just seems off, or, or is it something that you're seeing in his game? Well, I tell you what, you know, he's kind of a gunslinger, uh, and, 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 and I don't like his discipline right now on his technique, and that's why he's inconsistent recently. Uh, I think he's a little bit careless with the football, and I think he's, I think he's got to get his game under control. And if, and if you know, he can be a little bit helter-skelter, and if he gets that way, hey, uh, that's going to hurt him. Can the Giants get to him the same way that the Steelers got to him last week? Uh, maybe not. Well, first of all, the pass protection wasn't really that bad for the Cowboys last week. Probably better than in, in, in a lot of games they played early in the year. So the Giants' pass rush, I, I think uh, the key there to me is going to be Tuck. Okay, what, you know, because they're going to move him around and watch him in the matchups in the course of the game. I think Dallas will hold their own with the pass protection here. All right, on the other side for the Giants last week, especially offensively, probably played uh, their worst game uh, of the season and. and looked inept last week against uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, 211 total yards. Now, the weather did play a factor, but Charlie, there are a lot of other factors here. Was it just one game, or did you see something there that could be a problem here moving forward? Well, I think the key here is, you know, when Plaxico Burris was in the lineup, even though he wasn't having a great year, people dedicated double coverage to him. Now, that takes two people out of the equation at that point in time. So, last week, the Eagles, hey, they didn't worry about Dominic Hickson. They didn't worry about Amani Toomer. Hey, we're just going to cover him one on one for the vast majority of the game. We're going to commit another player in to stop the run, but our other safety, he's not going to have to be as deep and he's not going to have to worry about it. So their safeties were much more aware of the run than they were the pass as they had been in the past. That, I think, contributed the running game not being as good, put more on Eli Manning and the receivers. The weather was bad. Eli Manning is going to have to carry this team. I think more in the end, towards the end of the season than he did in the beginning of the season. He's capable of doing it, though. Yeah, he absolutely is. And again, the Giants are fighting for home field advantage throughout the playoffs because Carolina uh, right on their tails. Uh, but Charlie, you mentioned the secondary of the Eagles in that game. Um, they're better than the Cowboys secondary. And Pac-Man Jones is not going to be in this game. He may not be there the rest of the season. Do you think Eli Manning can take advantage of this of this Cowboys secondary? Oh, I, no question about it. I think Terrence Newman, uh, who's their best defender, is playing better now than he was early in the year because he's healthy. But outside of that matchup, uh, the Cowboys definitely are vulnerable at the safety and other cornerback position and depth at cornerback to the Giants' passing attack. Now, a couple of notes on the running backs. Brandon Jacobs, he's questionable for the game. There are reports here towards the end of the week that he's going to be doubtful. Uh, he did not practice again on Thursday. Marion Barber on the other side. Most people expecting him to go on Sunday night. Those roles, how big are those? Well, I think it's it's, it's probably huge for both teams because both teams want to run the ball to some degree, have success. However, it's bigger for the Giants because I think they don't have. I think uh, Ahmad Bradshaw, Derek Ward, they're good complementary backs. But hey, you know what? The workhorse here is Brandon Jacobs. That's the guy to me that is able to pound the defense down. Over on the Dallas side of the football, hey, they don't run it enough anyway. They, they throw the ball too much, in my opinion. But Marion Barber is clearly a better player than Tashar Choice, especially on the goal line. That's where they miss him is on the goal especially line. Especially last week is really missed him, maybe on the goal line as well. Let's take a look at the AccuScore prediction for this game. 10,000 tests, 10,000 results. AccuScore likes the Cowboys to come back and win. Remember, they lost at New York earlier this season, but it wasn't Tony Romo. It was Brad Johnson and then Brooks Bollinger. Uh, do you like Dallas to win this game? I, I tell you what, I, I've, I've picked Dallas in my column for CBSSports.com. I'm going to stay with it because out of you loyalty. Can, you can't change it. <laughs> I, I can't change it, uh, but I almost would like to right now because I'm just not real confident about Tony Romo. But I do think Eli Manning, with their passing game, 
uh, even though they don't have Plexico Burris, I think they can make enough plays against this Dallas secondary. And hey, their defense is good. It's good against everybody. So I think their defense uh, will be opportunistic uh, in this football game. But I think Tony Romo is going to rise up in this game. And I think the Dallas Cowboys need this more. And I think they lost a close game to Pittsburgh. But you know what? They played a great game in Pittsburgh. Uh, I think they're going to rise up. They need this game. Romo will make some plays here. I think they'll pass protect well enough. And defensively, I think they'll get enough pressure on Eli Manning to make one or two plays in the ball game. Though I'll tell you what, every time they, Eli goes back to pass, if I'm a Cowboy fan, I'm holding my breath okay, with that secondary. <laughs> yeah, especially with everything going on with all the injuries there for Dallas as well. So we'll see how the game plays out. It's Sunday night. For more on this one or any other here in Week 15, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS audience. Network and check out Charlie's article on the Cowboys. For Charlie Casserly, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.